They called it a study, but it was one of the cruelest medical experiments in U.S. history, and it happened to hundreds of black men right here in America. In 1932, government doctors in Tuskegee, Alabama began tracking the progression of syphilis. They recruited over 600 black men, four sharecroppers, and promised them free health care, meals, and burial insurance. What they didn't tell them was that this wasn't treatment. It was observation. Even after penicillin became a known cure in the 1940s, the doctors refused to treat them. They wanted to see what would happen if the disease ran its course. For 40 years, yes, 40 years, these men suffered while researchers watched. Dozens died. Others passed the infection to their wives and children, all in the name of science. When the truth finally came out in 1972, it shattered trust between black communities and the medical system, a wound that still hasn't fully healed. This wasn't a mistake. It was a choice, and a warning about what happens when people are seen as experiments instead of humans. If this was never in your textbook, follow this page, because we tell the stories they try to erase.